Hello, my name is Owen and welcome to a quick review of True Grit by Charles Portis. What I want to do is give a brief overview of what the book is about, tell you things that I liked, and tell you things that I didn't like. Uh, this is a Western story, a much beloved Western story uh, about a young girl named Maddie whose father is murdered and she enlists the help of a U.S. Marshal to try and bring him to justice. Uh, I knew about this story only from the movie that came out in 2010, around that area, uh, with Haley Steinfeld as a young girl and, and Jeff Bridges uh, as the marshal. Uh, I saw it probably six or seven years ago, and I remember really liking it, but I really didn't remember anything about the plot uh, other than that Matt Damon was in it in some capacity. Uh, but I listened to this as an audiobook. It was a very, very short book, probably like six-ish hours if I remember correctly. Um, coming off the back of Lonesome Dove, not to compare two very dissimilar books, uh, only the fact that they're westerns, I can't say I was in love with this book. Uh, starting with things, things that I liked, I think Maddie is a fantastic character uh, and a great narrator POV character. Uh, she narrates from the future, looking back on this time, which I think is an interesting perspective. And she's also just so like badass that she's so like witty and she's so like sharp. It's not like the, oh, like little girl needs to be protected. It's not that at all. Um, she's very on top of it and she's very capable. And the fact that she is a little girl makes it all the more interesting. Uh, I, I will say for the other characters, I was disappointed on how I guess it's because of how short the book was. It's just we didn't really get to develop them as much as I wanted. Obviously, like uh, Rooster Cogburn and the Marshal, he gets the most development out of all of them. Uh, but that doesn't really happen until like really the last quarter of the book. Uh, and that's when you really start to care for him. Because other than that, it's just them traveling together and them talking. But them like having the back and forth of, oh, I don't like the little girl here. And the little girl's like, I'm going to stay here because you can't stop me. And they're like, oh, yeah, whatever. And it's not really till the end where uh, the people that she's traveling with start to like bond with her uh, and they like prove like their bond at the very end of the book, obviously. But it just doesn't feel, didn't feel as earned as I remember it being in the movie. And I think that's just due to the length of the book. Um, the action scenes were fun. Uh, they were great, especially the climax was very like edge of your seat. Uh, not sure what's gonna happen vibes, which I really enjoyed, uh, but also, like, I don't think, like, the villains were that engaging. Uh, the problem with this book is there's a lot of, like, oh, th this guy's old Wallace Hedowitter, and he is a criminal, and he has uh, all of his friends, and, he, and then he names all the friends, and he's like, but he was a old pal of old, old Winky Dink, and he was a general in the U.S. Or It's like, what are we talking about? How many old-timey names can you throw at me in a single paragraph? And they all are friends with the rooster from the past. It's like, I get it. Right, there's a lot of names. And it's like we're we're hunting the guy that killed her father, but the killed the guy that killed her father and works for a criminal guy who's a, who's who has all his minions. It's like I don't I don't I don't know who you're talking about because I don't get to meet these people until you shoot them in the head. You know what I mean? So it's just a lot of names like that, because I feel like obviously the big the big antagonist is is this this, this guy who shot Maddie's father. Um but he's not like the big antagonist at the end, because it's it's another guy that I'm supposed to care about and he's supposed to be so evil because he's a criminal but like he you know what I mean and we don't it's just I don't know it just felt like it wasn't long enough and I understand why people like this book why people love this book there was value here I feel like I'm hating on it a lot all in all like I did enjoy it it was a quick read it was an enjoyable read it just didn't I just wish there was more of it uh to like give it a little bit more substance that I could sink my teeth into. Uh, Cause like, it just felt like a long short story, which if that's what you're looking for, you know, you're not gonna go wrong. It's a great, it's a great Western short story that's long, uh, as opposed to being like a fully fleshed out novel um, where you're invested in everything. Um, I don't know, I, I, I would say I, I didn't love it, but I, I liked it. It was, it's like when you watch like a movie and then like you go home and you're like, all right, I, I good, I guess. I didn't find anything wrong with it, uh, except I am finding stuff wrong with this, obviously. Um, I don't know. It, it made me want to watch the movie because I just remember liking the movie so much more than I, than I liked the, the book. 
But I, I really think, again, not to reiterate again, but it's just due to the length. I just don't think the characters were developed enough, uh, other than Maddie, who is, who is a great character. I, I won't say, listen, guys, I won't say I'm disappointed with it. I just think that if you look at it like it's a long, short story, it's that's what it is because it's not it's not going to be your lonesome dub where it's 36 hours long and it's you know it's a slow uh, slice of life it's not really like that so that's what you're looking for that's what you're looking for and take from that what you will i guess be sure to like and subscribe if you like the video and if you got other western recommendations i will take them i'm in a bit of a groove now i got two down in my belt uh, one was short, one was long, one I loved, one was, one was good. Let me know. Let me know in the comments because I know there's a bunch. I know there's a bunch. Thanks for sticking around.